all the next generation from the people that I knew here, all the old people, and then this is the next generation here. What we're going to do is make up some spears, and then we can go hunting. And this is what the Jungle have been doing in Arnhem Land for thousands of years, cutting spears, and now we go out on the beach and we'll straighten them up. Once these spear shafts have been heated up on the fire and they're still hot, it's just a matter of getting all the bends out of them, using the pressure of the feet or the teeth here, and just work all the way along the shaft until you get it dead straight, and then take the bark off. Yo, modern raw materials replaced the old one. This is reinforcing arc mesh. And uh, they use a grinder, sharpen up the arc mesh. But the end result is always the same, a very efficient hunting spear. The next step is to burn the wire spear tips into the end of the shaft here. And then it'll get bound in with copper wire. Out. Once the spears are made, the hunt begins. What they use up here in Arnhem Land is a spear thrower or woomera. So you've got this hook that goes in the end of the spear there and it gives the spear a lot more thrust, a lot more power. See when you throw it? Hey! Oh, come in. Oh! Oh! These guys never cease to amaze me. Just have a look at that for a headshot. Look! Isn't that a magnificent fish? Military. Millimeter. Yo! Let's have a look at the size of that fish. Oh, take it home for dinner, eh? It may seem a little bit cruel hitting these blokes on the head, but you've got to kill them very quickly. Otherwise, they'll turn around and bite you. They've got these very, very vicious teeth here. So we're going to have a late lunch. We're going to have crabs, half a gigantic fish here, and on the coals is the liver that's taken out of the sharks. It's going to be a great meal. Anyway, today it's a different sort of hunting trip. We're going out in the dinghy. We're going after turtle, eh? Stingray, trevally, whatever we can get. That's the stingray barb that you've got to be very careful of. Oh, hey, thank you. Giant Trevally. Oh, ha, ha. We're having a great morning. Eh? Hey? Rachel. Yeah. Garabooga's changed over to a larger harpoon. He's now after turtles.
Garabut has just feared a turtle. Personally, I don't like people killing turtles, but it's important that I don't force my values on these people. It's their traditional food, so that's the way it goes. The men have decided to come ashore and cook the turtle, which is really good. Rather than keeping it alive in the boat, they'll take all the meat back to the community already cooked up. So what they're going to use is hot stones to cook it. This is a very traditional way of cooking turtles. Once all the hot stones go inside the turtle, and I'll jam all those mangrove leaves in there, and just leave it to cook. There's a lot of meat on this turtle, and it'll feed about five families tonight, around about 30 people. And this to the young of Arnhem Land is a gourmet meal. Turtle soup. Mmm. Mm. Very sweet. After a great couple of weeks, it's goodbye to my Yungle family. And back to the barge landing for the return trip to Broome. Witchetty grubs. I guess we've all heard about witchetty grubs in the Australian bush. And we all know that you can eat them. But how do you find them? Well, there's many species of trees that harbour witchetty grubs. The first thing you notice is the tree looks a little bit diseased and if you go down to the bottom of the tree, down where the trunk enters the ground, you usually find what I would call grub dust or sawdust. See it there? And that's a very good indication that around the base of this tree we'll get some witchetty grubs. Now sadly this tree here is doomed to die because it's just been riddled with grubs. So what I'm going to do is get right down into the base of it and see what I can find. You can see here how the grubs have been boring into the, into the tree here. See that? Here's a very small one here, see it? Doesn't look very appetising, but in a survival situation, that's good tucker. You can eat them raw. Hmm, very sweet. See the grub here in the root? There's that grub dust, or what we would call sawdust. And here, we have a nice, fat, witchetty grub. Just get him out. There he is. Now here's a really big grub. Now how do you know that this is a witchetty grub? Well if you have a careful look